Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm super excited to inform you that I now have the Visrino Pro license thanks to Sermitov and his team. This will aid me unleash the full power of Visrino with my DIY Arduino PLC boards. In this video, we will dive deep into what we can do with Visrino Pro. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. I must say I'm deeply honored and grateful to Visrino for awarding me the Pro License. This recognition is truly meaningful and I'm excited about the opportunities it brings. Visrino has been an incredible platform for empowering makers, engineers, and enthusiasts like myself, enabling us to create and innovate with ease. The Pro License will provide me with even greater tools to explore the endless possibility of embedded system and electronics. Thanks to Visrino for your trust and support. With all this said, now let's look at what we can do with Visrino Pro. I need to uninstall my old Visrino and then run the Visrino Pro. And this is how the interface looks like. Great. Now you can see you have two tabs. If I minimize this section, we have our component already there. And then there are two tabs, the main tab and then the code tab. And basically within the code tab, you can do live coding whilst you drag and drop your objects it will be updated within your code and then you can edit the code at this section as well now with visrino pro i can give my esp8266 plc boards modbus capability by simply looking for modbus and then we can see we have Modbus clients and then we have the Modbus server. We can drag and drop the Modbus components onto the canvas. So I have a Modbus server and then I can drag and drop a Modbus client as well. So with this, you can either give your board a Modbus server or a client capability. In my up and coming video, I will share with you how to give the ESP board Modbus capability to communicate with SCADA BR. Interestingly, with Visrino Pro, you can easily inject your own custom code. That is, if anything is missing in Visrino, you can add it in the custom code component and have practically no limitation by what is currently supported in Visrino. For example, you can add sensors, models, some other Arduino code that you wish to add. You can just do that easily with this custom code component. With Visrino Pro, you can use one of the best powerful algorithms available like Forward Fast Furia. FFT components. You can also use the inverse analog fast fear IFFT component and then also use the inverse complex fast fear which is also known as the IFFT component as well to perform signal analysis and filter simulation. Finally at the Visrino Pro website you can download by clicking on this button which will send you to another page you need to enter your credentials to register after which you can purchase the pro license there are a lot of tutorials to get you started with the Visrino Pro and then you can see the offers for the license down here that you can make use of there is a holiday special limited offer that you can make use of Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.